All right, so today I'm going to be doing Chelsea's predictions. I'm going to be che- doing Chelsea's FIFA 22 predictions. To start off, Kepa has been awful, giving him a minus 4 down to 78. Mendy, I've given him a plus 4, up to 83. It's been really good this season. Great shot stopper, and it's helped Chelsea push the top 4, so that's good. Um, now, Chilwell, when Tuchel first signed, uh, Tuchel first became the manager, he was relying on Alonso, and now he's using Chilwell a bit more. Plus 1, 82. Marcus Alonso, as I said, before, when Lampard was manager, didn't get much game time. When Tuchel first came in, he was getting loads of game time, but he's still not a great, so I've given him an eight, kept him at E1. Thiago Silva, first few months of the season, re- he, when he, he was really good, and but then he got injured. He's coming back. They, they have quite a few centre backs, so it's, I've, and he's 36, so I've given him a, kept him the same at 85. Rudiger, since, he's come, since Tuchel's become the manager, he's been really good. I've given him a plus two, which takes him up to an 83, which he, he's been really good uh, since, he's, since Tuchel became manager. Zuma, early part of the season, great centre-back. Then he got injured. So yeah, Zuma has been a great centre-back and I think deserves the praise. Anspi, Reese James has been much better than him this season. I've given him down to an 83. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes down to an 82 or an 81. Now, speaking of Reese James, here is Reese James. I'll give him a plus 6 up to an 83, which for me, I think is really f- is fair. For It's been outstanding this season. It deserves a massive upgrade. Kante, I haven't given him an upgrade. I've kept him the same. Hasn't been on the, in the Chelsea midfield a, a lot this season. It's been good, but I don't think he really deserves an upgrade, especially at 30 years old. Now, Havertz, um, I've given him down to an 80, 83. I, I don't want to be too harsh, but he just hasn't been good. He, For the price tag he came in for, 60, 70 million, just hasn't got the goals or assists, just hasn't been contributing. Now on to Ziyech. I've decided to keep him the same at 85. Yeah, he, he hasn't... He was injured for the first, like, three months of the season, so we can't really blame him for that. So, but since then, he's been okay. Jorginho, there's so much midfield competition. I've moved him down to an 82, which I think is fair for him. Still been okay, though. I'm not saying that he's been bad. Kovacic, I've kept him the same. He's, he's done what he needs to do, a ball-player midfielder. He doesn't need to be more than that. Now, Mason Mount has been incredible this season. In my opinion, he'd probably be Chelsea's best player. I've given him a plus four upgrade, which now would make him an 84 rating. So, it's been outstanding. Pulisic, I think he might have been injured for a bit, but he just hasn't been that good, so I've given him a minus one down to an 80. Next up, we've got Olivier Giroud, who... Has had some crucial performances in the Champions League. And I've given him a plus 2 up to an 81. Which, um, yeah, I think it's fair enough for how Giroud's performs. Even though he doesn't get all the game time. Abraham, in some cup competitions. It's been really crucial for Chelsea. So I think he deserve. I've given him a plus 2 upgrade. And in Premier League, he's been good. So, yeah. And finally, Timo Werner. I've just like to keep him the same. Hasn't been that great since signing for the signing for Chelsea but I think I think in time he could be a really good striker. So that is gonna be the end of the video guys. So I hope you guys enjoy.